In the Premier League, three teams faced the drop every year, but this past season was the first time since 1998 that all three newly promoted teams were relegated right back down in the same year. It got me thinking. So recently, I dusted off FIFA 18, one of the last truly great additions, and took a look at how the Premier League looked six years ago. Unsurprisingly, the league back then was almost unrecognizable compared to today. It's wild how much it has changed. Half the clubs are different, which is a testament to why I love this league system so much. Now, with club football back after the summer break, I can't help but daydream about what will happen this upcoming season. Two years in a row of all three promoted clubs getting sent back down would be crazy. There's no way that happens again, right? So which clubs will survive this season, or will we see Ipswich Town, Leicester City, and Southampton suffer the same fate as their predecessors? In this video, we'll assess each of the club's chances of avoiding relegation and establishing themselves in the Premier League. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Southampton's return to the Premier League comes after a dramatic playoff final win last season. Under the guidance of Russell Martin, the Saints will be aiming to reestablish themselves as a top flight club. But the road ahead is fraught with challenges. The club has been active in the transfer market, bringing in several key additions, including Flynn Downs, Taylor Hardwood Bellis, and Ben Brereton Diaz. Downs and Hardwood Bellis, who both had successful loan spells last season, have been signed permanently, adding youth and quality to the squad. Brereton Diaz, who impressed at Sheffield United, offers an attacking threat that could be crucial in the Premier League. Meanwhile, the return of Adam Lallana and the acquisition of Charlie Taylor bring valuable Premier League experience, which could be vital in helping the squad navigate the challenges ahead. Adam Armstrong, fresh off of a 24-goal season in the championship, will be looking to continue his scoring form, but the Premier League is a different beast. Southampton's strength lies in their flexibility. While Martin prefers a possession-based style of play, the Saints have shown they can adapt when necessary, as evidenced by their playoff final performance. The biggest question for Southampton is whether Martin's tactics will translate to Premier League success. Burnley struggled last season when they tried to maintain their championship style of play, and Southampton will need to find the right balance between maintaining possession and being pragmatic. The squad looks well-rounded, but the step up to the Premier League will test them to their limits. Leicester City's return to the Premier League comes after a brief but turbulent spell in the championship. The Foxes won the second tier title last season, but have since faced a managerial change with Enzo Maresca departing for Chelsea and Steve Cooper taking the reins. Cooper, known for guiding Nottingham Forest to safety in the Premier League, now faces an even bigger task with Leicester. One of the major concerns for Leicester is the potential points deduction looming over the club due to financial breaches. This would be a significant setback, putting them on the back foot from the start of the season. In terms of transfers, the club has been relatively quiet, with Abdul Fatawu being the standout signing. Fatawu, who had a successful loan spell last season, brings pace and flair, but Leicester will need much more if they are to compete effectively in the Premier League. The loss of Kiernan Dewsbury Hall to Chelsea is a huge blow, as he was pivotal to their success last season. Without him, the midfield looks vulnerable, and this is an area Cooper must strengthen before the transfer window closes. The squad does have some Premier League experience, with players like Harry Winks, Ricardo Pereira, and James Justin capable of making a difference. However, the attacking department remains a concern, with Jamie Vardy aging and the club lacking a proven goal scorer at this level. If Leicester fails to bring in reinforcements, particularly in attack, they could struggle to score the goals needed to stay up. Even without a points deduction, survival will be a monumental challenge, and Cooper will need to work his magic once again to keep the Foxes in the top flight. Finally, Ipswich Town has been the most active in the transfer market out of all of the clubs promoted this summer, signaling their intent to survive in the Premier League. 
Kieran McKenna, who has already achieved the remarkable feat of taking Ipswich Town from League One to the Premier League in just two seasons, is now facing his biggest challenge yet, keeping them there. The Tractor Boys have made some eye-catching signings, most notably Amari Hutchinson, who arrives permanently from Chelsea after an impressive loan spell. Hutchinson's pace and creativity could be crucial for Ipswich in breaking down Premier League defenses. Liam Delap, another big money signing, brings youthful exuberance and a keen eye for goal, though he still has much to prove at this level. His ability to adapt quickly could be pivotal for Ipswich's survival hopes. Defensive reinforcements have also been a priority with the acquisition of Jacob Greaves, Connor Townsend, and Ben Johnson bolstering a back line that will face far sterner tests in the Premier League. If you saw my Ipswich Town video that came out right when they got promoted, I mentioned that their defense was where they lacked and they needed to make some moves if they didn't want to get sent back down because going into shootouts every week in the Premier League is a terrible recipe for success. Well, it looks like they did bolster that back line. The addition of Arjunet Murich in goal could also prove crucial. Murich has shown moments of brilliance that suggest he could be a key player in Ipswich's bid to stay up. One of Ipswich's strengths last season was their ability to spread goals across the team, rather than relying on a single talisman. This team-oriented approach could serve them well in the Premier League, where resilience and collective effort are often the difference between survival and relegation. However, McKenna must still address gaps in the midfield and attack if Ipswich is to stand a realistic chance of staying up. The Premier League represents a significant step up, and while Ipswich has momentum and a close-knit squad, the challenge ahead is enormous. In my personal opinion, it seems like Southampton and Ipswich have really made an effort to bring in key players that will help them survive. Unfortunately for Leicester, they have lost more key pieces than they have gained. I'm not sure if ownership is just comfortable or what, but they need to get moving. I think in the end of it all, only one club will survive out of the three, and if you frequent my channel, then you probably know who I'm rooting for. But realistically, we could see two survive this year. Southampton, Leicester City, and Ipswich Town each face unique challenges as they look to survive in the Premier League. Ipswich has momentum and a cohesive squad, but must address key areas to stand a chance. Leicester, with their Premier League experience, face an uphill battle especially with potential financial penalties and a lack of reinforcements. Southampton, while flexible and well-prepared, will need to adapt quickly to the rigors of the top flight. Survival in the Premier League requires more than just hope. It requires smart signings, tactical ability, and perhaps a bit of luck. The question remains, can any of these clubs beat the odds and stay up? Only time will tell.